It actually happened. I don't know how the Philadelphia 76ers keep doing it. I'm not a Philly fan, by the way. I just repping the jersey. Allen Iverson, shout out. They keep doing it, man. Elton Brand has got to be like the best GM in a very long time. You get Jimmy Butler, and then you get Tobias Harris in the same year. Legitimately, I don't know how they keep doing it, but they've done it again. Let's get into the video. Now, before we start off with the video, yeah, I know I've said it before, but I am back, all right? I think. I don't know. I've said it like 20,000 times. But your boy Nick Smith, I do want to come back. So here it is. This is my thoughts on the trade. It just dropped as I was making dinner. So I thought, you know what? This is the perfect time to get back into the groove of things. If you enjoy the video though, I need your support. Considering I've been away for so long, I need your help. If you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. Hit that notification button. And let's get into the video. This is how the Philadelphia 76ers are now gonna be able to compete with the Golden State Warriors to hopefully, or not hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I, the Warriors, man, I don't want them to win another championship. Let's, I want the Philadelphia 76ers to get that ring, all right? But this is how they could actually contend for an NBA championship in 2019. Let's get it. Philly has gone from the Embiid and Simmons duo to now Tobias Harris, Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, Jimmy Butler, they have a big four. They've still got JJ Redick. They lost a little bit of shooting in the trade, but let me break it down in this video. The Philadelphia 76ers have made a trade with the Los Angeles Clippers. Tobias Harris has been sent off to the Philadelphia 76ers in exchange for quite a lot of assets. Woj broke the internet once again. Now it's not the Kristaps Porzingis, you know, trade, but it is still a trade. And yes, I will make a video on that a bit late, obviously, but my thoughts, I guess if someone wants to watch, I'll be happy to make the video. Anyway, it's a six player trade, which means it's Landry Shamet, Wilson Chandler, Mike Muscala, 2020 first round pick from the Sixers, and also the Heat 2021 first round pick, plus 2021 Sixers and 2023 second round picks to the Clippers. So that's a lot of picks, but in exchange, Tobias Harris. And I tell you what I love, you literally cannot trade the duo. Tobias Harris, Boban, the Bobby Tobias Harris duo, it stays once again. It went from the Pistons to the Clippers and now to the Sixers. And when you think about it, Embiid and Boban is insane. Plus, they also get Mike Scott, who was actually underrated. I do rate Mike Scott off the bench. Philly did very, very well. So let's break the trade down. First of all, do they have a starting five? That can be the best group, maybe outside of the Warriors, and even challenge the Warriors? Honestly, I think they do. Ben Simmons at point guard. He is obviously one of a generation player. I have made videos on the past. He is from my hometown in Melbourne, so I love Ben Simmons. We all know that. JJ Redick, still the same shooter that he's always been. Cash money all day. Jimmy Buckers, lockdown defender. Yeah, he hasn't had the scoring part of his game since he moved to Philly, but he has had moments where he's shown, and especially in the first few games where he joined the Philadelphia 76ers, he was hitting some clutch shots. But since then, he slowed down a little bit, but his defense has always stayed the same. He's a great player, obviously. Now you add in Tobias Harris, and you still have an MVP candidate in Joel Embiid, arguably the best center, if not the best center, in the whole of the NBA. But can you challenge the Warriors? Ben Simmons on Steph Curry, JJ Redick on Klay Thompson, Jimmy Buckus on Kevin Durant, Tobias on Draymond, Joel on DeMarcus. It is going to be unbelievable. It's a battle of the depth. Who has better depth? I would almost argue it's the Philadelphia 76ers. Do I think they'll win the NBA championship though? Well, it all depends on the team chemistry. And not to mention, when you think about the actual starting five for the Warriors, it is unbelievable. You literally have two MVPs on the same team paired up with the best center in the past in DeMarcus Cousins, who may be healthier towards the NBA playoffs. It's going to be an interesting matchup, but we have seen Philly beat the Warriors only a couple of games ago without Tobias Harris. Unbelievable work by the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, what does it mean for the Clippers? Well, I guess you do go into a little bit more of a tank mode, which is not really what I was expecting from the Clippers, considering, I mean, look, you were actually playing decent. You had Harrell, who was playing very well. Lou Williams has obviously played very well. You had Tobias Harris, obviously not anymore. 
But I guess the only thing I can think of is a tank job. And another thing is, you probably know that you have a very good chance at getting Kawhi Leonard if your reasoning is to trade Tobias Harris. But honestly, there's not too much to talk about with the Los Angeles Clippers. I more want to talk about the Philadelphia 76ers because that's where it is at. In terms of this trade, unbelievable move by them. And let me tell you something. Even if Tobias Harris and Jimmy Butler leave in the 2019 free agency, you still have a very good duo in Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid, and you almost have enough cap space to sign two key free agents, just like the New York Knicks do. So, I don't think the Philadelphia 76ers take any losses in this trade, and the only way that I don't see this trade working out is if Tobias Harris doesn't want to become a shooter and instead wants to drive in the paint, which is not really what the 76ers do since Ben Simmons is the guy who drives in, feeds it out. So Tobias Harris will probably lose some stats in terms of points and production, but overall, he has a chance to win an NBA championship this year, and I'm not exaggerating. This team now is extremely solid. So let me know down below what you think of the trade. Rate it from the Philadelphia 76ers standpoint and also the Los Angeles Clippers standpoint. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun getting back into this. I've missed it, man. I have missed it for a very long time. I just didn't know how to get back into it, but I think finally I've done it. This is the video to get me back, and I have a whole bunch of more videos that I have to make, and I have already had the ideas for, so all I have to do is make them, and I think I'm ready to do that. Anyway, if you want to subscribe to my vlog channel, I do have a link down below or on the screen right now. So yeah, if you guys want to click that link, you can head to my vlog channel if you guys want to watch that. If not, Nick Smith NBA, we're back. NBA videos, I'm actually excited to get back into it, so... The Philadelphia 76ers, man, they've done it again. Who wins the NBA championship? I don't know, but we're back to find out. We out. Peace. The Boy Nick Smith NBA. We back.